What's up guys? It is Nightheart. Um today we're about to be on sort of like a somber note because I don't know, it's just one of those days I guess. Today I gotta say I've been struggling really bad with my uh my mental issues, you know, depression, anxiety, PTSD, you know, real things that I'm diagnosed with and I deal with on the day to day, but today just particularly has been bothering me a lot and I think it was my girlfriend who told me that XXX was shot and killed today and it was just like whoa that was quick like I was never like I can say like a fan of XXX I respected what he did musically and as an artist a lot because it takes a lot to break through the barrier to reach such a mass population and coming off of SoundCloud, which was the root of his music, to being a radio sensation, that's not easy. So I have a lot of love and respect for that. And to see him not only as a person, but as an artist get killed like that, it's a reality check. You know, it's as an artist myself, think about the things I make and how I influence people around me through the things I make and the things that I do and how quickly life can be taken it's like we're all alive but we're all gonna die that's that's the end for us all I mean none of us are immortal or invincible so it's a real life thing and people don't think about that kind of thing unless they've had like a lot of death in their life and xxx is dead like with all the shit he struggled with mentally physically emotionally spiritually his imbalances his struggles he was an imperfect being like we all are but the things that he made reflected himself reflected the people around him around him and it reflected his life and the things that he saw and experienced which were painful and the way I know that is because of what he reflects through his music. So as a person who struggles with mental illness, mental issues, and trying to find that balance in between sanity and insanity pretty much, I empathize and I sympathize because it's a real life struggle that is not too much discussed in music, mental illness. Mental illness plays such an important part in artistry. So often, the best music and the most resonating music comes from the most powerful emotion, which is pain. And then it breeds into anger, frustration, sadness. All these emotions then become the heart, like the harbingers for your favorite songs. So. Whether or not you are mentally stable, all, everything appears clear, you don't deal with any of that stuff, or if you're constantly shrouded by depression, anxiety, all these terrible things, music helps you through it, and it often influences your thought process. And, and it's crazy to think that so many people respected and enjoyed his music but they don't know his first name and now this man's dead and they're not saying this that his first and last name is dead they're saying xxs tentacion is dead the artist is dead the artist is dead the person is dead there's layers to the shit but it's like what's going to be remembered is the artist not the person because I bet most people watching this video, or in general, can't tell me his first name. Can't tell me his parents' name. That man had a life beyond just the artistry he made or whatever was in the tabloids or in the press or whatever bad rep they wanted to give him or whatever good rep they wanted to give him. He, had a, he was a person and he had a life beyond the image. But nobody knows that person. Not like that. They know the person that he reflects in the mirror and in the music and in his frequency. But now he's dead. 
Something to think about. Now, whether or not you like XXS as an artist or a person, the fact that somebody killed him, I feel like, is the most pivotal part. Someone wanted XX dead. Now, regardless of the things he did in his, in his personal life, which there's a lot of things I don't personally agree with, the art that he made influenced people. It impacted people. It changed people's lives. Got people through happy days, sad days, messed up days. It's real shit. That's what artists do. And for someone to be plotting on another artist's downfall, it's crazy to me. It's like that the person that killed him must have had a vendetta or just must have like really not liked the guy, apparently. Because as an artist, he still had things to say. He still had people's lives to change. And I'm not going to say all for positively, because the guy wasn't an entirely positive person. But he made that transparent. It was never like he hid the type of person he was. He was open as fuck about it. And I feel like that's the most legit thing about it, is that he was open as an artist and open as a person about how imperfect and fucked up he was. But he made that into some beautiful art that made people's lives better. It's like, although he might have been struggling, although all that pain might have made him sad, suicidal, frustrated, he made it into something beautiful. Art. And to any artist watching this or anybody striving to be an artist, or anybody with artists' friends or family support them, show them love, help inspire them because the things those artists make make a difference make a difference it does and it's a it's like a reminder to me that the art i do i do make makes a difference for me too you know and it makes a difference for the people around me i don't want to end up with the same fate as xxx often i feel like i just might especially with the things i say the things i create in my vision and my goal I just might. I'm honestly surprised artists like Logic and Dizzy Wright haven't been tried, shot up and tried, killed for their positivity and their images. And I feel like, I don't want to guesstimate, but I feel like what, whoever tried to kill XXX or did kill XX, it was personal. I don't think it was because of its music, but a lot of people don't want artists to create. A lot of people are artists themselves have disdain for artistry for some fucking reason that can't be comprehended fully. I just don't know, man. I don't know. I suffer a lot with my mental issues. I suffer a fucking lot. And I can only imagine one day I go car shopping and I get shot and killed. Now, mind you, he was motorcycle shopping. But what's the difference? It's, I just live in my life and someone wanted me dead. I don't know. Keep creating, keep being the best version of you. For God's sakes, be a good person so that people don't come after you trying to shoot you and kill you and shit. But even if you are a good pe person, people are gonna try to shoot you and kill you anyway. Do your thing, man. I love you guys. Thank you.